Welcome to this week's Council Currents. Here are some highlights from some recent Council meetings. beginning work on the waterfront sewer system. Stantec Consulting will develop detailed design for the sewer system upgrades stretching from Big Rock boat ramp north along Highway 19A to the Maritime Heritage Center. Once that work is complete, construction will begin in 2018, starting with a section extending from First Avenue north to the Maritime Heritage Center, as well as all necessary upgrades to related lift stations. The city is looking at the option of adding a cycling lane on the hill north of Hidden Harbor while these works are being completed. The request for a cycling lane on the hill between Hidden Harbor and First Avenue was presented by the River City Cycling Club out of concern for the safety of cyclists. <music> Mayor Adams congratulated the Development Services and Community Planning Department for their recent award for the Downtown Refresh Initiative. With me now is Marianne Wade and Brian McLaughlin from the Development Services Department. This award means a great deal to us um, as the Development Services team because it is a nod to us for our excellence in planning and shows that our peers have been very acknowledging of our professional accomplishments with Refresh Downtown. The Planning Institute of British Columbia identified to us how extremely difficult it was to make a selection for this award and one of the key things was the elements that we used in this plan. The key elements were the defining of districts within the downtown based on our consulting with the community as well as integrating a series of past policies and being innovative in how we were going to integrate technical with conceptual visual guidelines for our street elements. As part of that was identifying color and we referred to Sybil Andrews and used Sybil Andrews palette as a way to identify the color palettes in the districts to make each district distinct using historical national artists and a provincial and a local hero to Campbell River really set us apart from some of the other plans and is a distinct element of this plan. Beginning in the spring of 2016, the City of Campbell River began a comprehensive consultation process on the downtown plan. Uh, we met a number of times with a downtown working group which uh, contained a number of very important downtown stakeholders and businesses. Uh, we had a series of open house events where we invited the entire community to come down and provide their input on the downtown plan. And we also set up at many public events throughout the summer. We had these pop-up consultations where we gathered a lot of valuable feedback from our community. And all of this was really important in determining the unique characteristics and the unique elements of the various downtown districts that are represented in the refresh document. More building and development permits and zoning applications have been approved by Council including a major development permit for three industrial buildings in Campbellton on 16th Avenue, a four-story, 70-unit apartment building at 525 South Dogwood, and there's a public hearing coming up to consider introducing incentives to encourage the construction of affordable housing. Council approves a plan for Phase 2 of the South Island High Renewal Project. This project will involve a complete renewal of a one-kilometer section of highway from just south of the Rockland Road intersection to the Big Rock Boat Ramp. The city recently received $6.3 million of federal and provincial funding to support this project, which will include a new public parking lot at Rockland Road, as well as improvements to the Big Rock Boat Ramp. Construction work on this project will begin in 2019 and will take into consideration the impacts of sea level rise. Please check the city's website for the next council meeting, which you can watch live on the city's website by clicking on council meeting webcasts from the home page. You can also watch previous council meetings as far back as 2012. If you have a question on city council meetings, please call me or send me an email and to receive automatic email updates on council agendas and meeting highlights, register through the news feed in the newsroom section of the website. I'm City Clerk Pete Whipper. Thank you for watching Council Currents. We'll see you next time.